With us now is John. And when you Google him, you're gonna be so excited to see the list of amazing things that he has created in his life. But with us now, he's right here, the inventor of the cone head. Yeah, the real cone head. Hi, how are you? Donna, nice to be with you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> nice to be with it's you a pleasure. too. pleasure. So you. you're friends of our dear friend Lula. Yeah. And, um, She's great. And She's I said, great. hey, by the way, I said, I wanted to shine a light on you because yeah. you also have had an amazing journey in art. Yeah, beyond the dream, really. Yeah, and it still it's continues. Amazing. You're not done yeah. yet, right? 40 years later. Wow. Who would have thought? You know? How did it start for you? Did you, an uh, early fan of Play-Doh? I mean, like, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I was just an early fan of the old monster movies. And um, the old, you go and even back to silent films, like Lon Chaney, The Man of a Thousand Faces and that whole thing. And then I saw uh, J James, uh, Jimmy Cagney play Lon Chaney in the movie, The Man of a Thousand Faces, and that had a big effect on me. And so it started me in the direction of trying to figure out how to do that kind of stuff. And uh, that's where it really started. And then there was a magazine called Famous Monsters of Magazine, which was out in the 60s and 70s, mm. long before cell phones and YouTube. And so that was my Bible of all the old horror films and the old makeup guys like the Westmores and and uh, that, that led to discovering the makeup artist, Dick Smith. Okay. And Dick Smith became a mentor? Or yeah, he did. Ways? Yeah, he kind of took me under his wing. I wrote him a fan letter when I was about 15. And it was one letter. And I wrote Dick Smith makeup artist on the envelope and drew a picture of him. And I didn't have his address, but he had done The Exorcist. He did all the demonic makeup and the old age makeup on uh, Max von Cito. Father Marin. So I wrote that one letter and drew a picture of him and I sent it to Warner Brothers Studios in Hollywood to the Linda Blair fan club. And some nice person at Warner Brothers took, forwarded that one letter to Dick's house. And I was playing football in the street with my friends and my mother yells, Johnny, Dick Smith's on the phone. And so he, he called. What a life changing you know, call that so was. It, that was it. That just set me in the direction of, you know, figuring out how to do it with, a, with the greatest makeup artist of all time. It's miraculous, it's a miracle. That is fantastic. And that's where my career's gone. Do you make some of your own prosthetics? Is it like a yeah. mixture that you created oh, yeah. and you do yeah. your own? And Absolutely, you know, we start by taking a mold of the actor's face called a life cast and then, uh, you know, I do all that. And I have a, a studio at my shop in my house uh, on Long Island. I converted my garage into a studio Oh, very so nice. So I do all my own sculpture and do all the molds and make the silicone pieces and foam pieces. And yeah, I love that part of it. It's fun. What's uh, some of the favorite relics that you've kept uh, for yourself? Like when you walk yeah. into that house, is there like, ooh, that's my, you know, wow. mini cone head or that's my... Yeah, I have little things around. Well, you know, on one wall of my studio, I have the molds of all the actors I've worked with. Really? Yeah, because that's the first thing you start with is a cast of the actor's face. So I work a lot with Al Pacino yes. over the years. So I have What a his, great face he yeah, has. Yeah, the beautiful wow. bone structure and the eyes. So I have a few life casts of him and it, you know, there he is right there. And uh, he's been with me a long time. It's been great. You know, I love working with our, 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 my makeup artist as well because, you know, I've been working yeah, with Connie. Enough, but yeah, yeah Connie's she's great. great. And it's because... Yeah. An actor or a performer, we really are putting our our brand mm -hmm. in your hands, you yeah. know. Yeah. And True. Uh, so it's interesting to know how you. There's look a lot at of trust face. in there, right? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, you take a cast of their face, and then when they need prosthetics, you build from that. Yeah, you know, it depends on what the script calls for and what the actor's feeling, and you know, working with Al, that's always a thing. You know, it's it's part of his process. And so we'll try to figure out what's required for him to perform the character. And, uh, and then considering the time and the, the amount of time he wants to sit in the chair, it's, it's all con considered in the, 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 the design of the makeup. Now you helped yeah. um, with Heath Ledger too. You created that clown face. You yeah, yeah. kind of pushed it. And I, um, yeah. I had read a couple of things where he was like, what do you think? And you're like, oh, I want to make the forehead look like this. And what if oh. we did... I mean, yeah. the process of that, the combination of working with somebody and creating that. Yeah, he was amazing to work with. And that particular makeup was, it was only as good as it looked 
because I had his full cooperation in the makeup chair. Okay. Like he would contort his face and I would paint layers of, yeah, like that. <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll get cast in a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> so he would. So I had the, help that, you. you know, it's very rare that you need the actor to ex hit certain expressive fa facial gestures to get all these cracks and crevices and to get all these drippy things happening. <laughs> And so uh, it was really incredible to get a chance to work with him. And he was a great soul and a what lot of fun to work with every day. Big hugs Aww. in the morning and hugs every night, never missed. And that was a great experience. I would, I would love to just spend hours and hours with you. Yeah. Um, I, you too. I would like to know some of the other moments for you that have yeah. maybe just two or three where you uh -huh. said I loved doing Dick Tracy and for that we got this or I loved doing this and for this we got that or you know yeah. maybe what? three big highlights for you because there's so many when I like I said people should google yeah. you because I was like oh he did this and he did this you worked with the Blues Brothers you worked with Coneheads you worked yeah. Saturday Night Live you've done major films you did something for the Irishman also I think yeah and, did Pacino so. and the Irishman did okay. that makeup every day that was I had to pinch myself working on the Irishman set because I'm a kid of the 70s I mean I grew up you know doing makeup in the 70s and then getting into NBC in 1976 started there in television so to be on the set with Al Pacino and Scorsese and De Niro and Pesci, it was like, I, I, it, it, is this really happening? Am, am, I, am I dreaming this? And am I, am I gonna wake up in a broom closet in the hospital, you know, as a janitor? <laughs> is this all just a dream? So that was like beyond the dream is to be on that set as a, you know, as a, as a makeup geek. And growing up seeing Taxi Driver and all those great movies of the 70s of Scorsese. I have something oh. here behind the yeah. scenes. I'm going to go get it. I wore my oh. tennis shoes today. And, and maybe you've seen me with my shoes on, without my shoes on, instead of my lucky gold pumps. But I wore my tennis shoes for a reason. Stay tuned. We'll just keep the cameras rolling. I have something here that you... Oh. Hold on. You stay oh. right there. Dun, da, da, okay. da, 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 uh oh da, 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 da. John. What? Whoa. Who is this? You got one too? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Tell me. Tell me about wow. your friend that you brought. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I figured if I was going to get gussied up, I should, you know, uh, bring the Academy Award too, which is, wow. is beyond the dream. It's wow. just, a, you know, just getting the movie Dick Tracy was a miracle because I was from New York and then to go to Hollywood and design that makeup was just, the, everything about it was a miracle. So. I share this miracle with you and everyone here. It's just unreal. Just unbelievable. Never well, thought that would it, ever did happen. Did you like put it next to the pillow? Like uh, I would have slept with it. Maybe for the first, first week, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you know, it's like yeah. that's a big deal. It so, is. So congratulations. It, it, thank for, you, Donna. You know, the long, wonderful thank journey, you. the the magical memories that you've made for everybody in the audience that have actually watched yeah. your work. Do you it's, know? It, yes. It's phenomenal. I count my blessings. Just to be able to make a living doing it. I'm not kidding. It just, just to be able to just, you know, pay my mortgage and to do what I love to do is, you know, it's, it's a miracle to me, all of it. Can you and show I'm your grateful. hands to that camera? Can you just lift up your hands for a second? Yeah. See those hands? Those, that's amazing, John. Yeah. Is yeah. there too many calluses? On no, that? Oh, okay. but that, but it's really amazing. I feel like when you're born with a talent, and you're able to use it. And like you said, you're yeah. able to raise a family and do things with something. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a, a gift for everybody all around. And thank you for being here today. Thank you, Donna. Um, anything that you're working on that you can kind of uh, tell me about? Are you making any ears for anybody lately? No, 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 no ears. But uh, <laughs> we just did a Al Pacino, who I've been with, thank God for that. Uh, he, we just did a TV series with Amazon, his first television series. Oh. And it'll be uh, um, you know, like a mini series. And it's called The Hunt. And it's going to be great. Lovely. And he's Please terrific. Please send my best it. regards and congratulations to thank you. Thank you. So thank happy you, Donna. journeys. Thank you so much. See, thank you for tuning in and watching the show because I love to have great audience, a great uh, guest for you, um, and you're a wonderful audience. And thank you for all the fan mail that you've been sending. Um, John, John Gaglione Jr. Stay tuned. Be well.